Hi guys, this is Christina and today I'm gonna go to Homestead to do some uh, plant shopping and I'm also gonna see my friend Elise and see what he has so that um, I can check what he's been up to and I wanna take you guys with me. So let's go. I arrived here at my friend place. Uh, this is all his plant. He collect plant as well, especially tropical plant, aeroid, uh, bromeliad, palm, that very rare, a lot of flowering tree and so on. But once in a while, he sells some of his uh, plant and this is his small greenhouse. And I'm still waiting for him to arrive. I didn't want to enter his place if he's not here. So I'm waiting. So hi. So here is my uh, friends. We're gonna have a quick tour because he's he has to leave quickly. He has some bromelia over here, and petally leaf variegated one. Most of his item here is not for sale because this is his hobby, and he kept most of it. But of course, for look at the flower of that tree. That's an angel tree trumpet. Has a lot of aeroid uh, pelodendrum and stuff. I believe this is a uh, uh, Jose Bueno or probably, yeah. This is a uh, pelodendrum brownie eyes or something like that. And look at that one. This is Beliti eye. Look how big. little place I'm gonna show you what I got from the first stop and I have a couple of things here gloriosum red heart and pink princess is right over there but my friends is here so I'll see you soon unfortunately I was unable to uh, record on my second stop and now I'm on my third stop I'm getting a soil and this soil is uh, sun grow 
Let me show it to you. This is a very good uh, type of soil with perlite and fungicide for the most of it is pelodendrum and stuff. They very Hi, so I made it back home and it was a nice morning to just go plant shopping, see some old friends. And I want to show you what I got back in Homestead. Here they are. And I want to give you a quick uh, sneak peek of my plant shop, plant shopping. This is what I'm excited about. This is the Monstera Aurora. It's the yellow variegation. So there's a really white one of Monstera and there's a creamy and white together, I believe. You correct me if I'm wrong. And you have this Aurora variegation, which is the yellow one. So it's really nice to, to get uh, Monstera that yellow because usually they're very expensive, but I get it expensive too. But the problem is it expensive. The question is, are you able to get it even though it's expensive? And you know, that's a bigger question there. I have another one. Oh, so cute. Look, but the new leaves, the new leaves, unfortunately, doesn't have any variegation. It's just pure green, but the older leaf does. So we can only hope that this plant give me some variegation because the Monstera Aurora or all the variegation variety, it's all about how heavily the variegation is. And people are not very interested if it's just green. So wish me luck. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, I mean, I can go. Oh, also, before I forgot, this is the alocasia, but it's a yellow, yellow variegation. Again, this is the Aurora one. They're, again, hard to find. I mean, to, to get it this small, it's, I will take it because I can't really see them anywhere else available, especially the yellow variegation. Look at that. So I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. I feel lucky about this trip. It's a lot of things that I got that I normally, you know, not easy to find. So I'm good with that. So I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for coming with me. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you like more video like this. And soon I will be making a video of each plant, how to take, how I take care of it because everyone has different, you know, care and way. But I will show you how I take care of it and it's not a lot. <laughs> Normally I leave them alone, to be honest. But let's see how far we can get. Thank you so much. Bye.